Hello everyone, thanks for coming back. In today's video, we have a Nintendo Switch which has a no power issue. So once you connect the power cord in, absolutely nothing happens. So uh, let's uh, get into it and try and get it repaired. For your Xbox and PlayStation repairs, visit consoletherapy.com. So as I say, uh, when you connect the power cord in, you get absolutely nothing. So you put the power cord in, we don't get any little charging light or anything at all. I've had a quick look at the actual charging port and that looks absolutely fine. Check that through, no problems with that. I don't think this has been previously opened, but uh, we will check that as we go through. All looks pretty clean. So um, you've seen plenty of videos how to open these. Uh, I need to give you a bit of a clean as well. Uh, so I'll fast forward through the bit about opening up and uh, we will actually get to the motherboard and take some measurements. So with the casing off, we can do a, a bit of a visual inspection. This has been opened before, some of the screws were missing. Uh, so someone has definitely been in here before. Um, I can see just down here, I'll show you when we get under the microscope, there looks to be some water damage down here. Um, so we can certainly look at that. So let's just unplug the battery. Okay, so what I'll do, let me, uh, let me disconnect everything and we're gonna actually pull the motherboard out and we're gonna actually have a quick look uh, here under the microscope. Right, so here we are under the microscope and as you can see there, uh, is some liquid damage along here, right? So you can see certainly along here, and this capacitor doesn't look very happy at all, nor does one next to it. Let's just quickly plug in some power and see what voltages we get. All right, so let's start over here with the actual main incoming fuse. What do we get here? 15 volts, good. Let's just move along here. What do we get against this coil? Nothing, I do believe we should have something there. Let's just try and read off this cap here. Yeah, we've got the 15 volts there. That side's ground, what about this side? 13 volts, he's not happy that cap. Uh, and let's just check around the other capacitors. Now, I believe uh, around this capacitor should be around four volts. We're not getting nothing. Same with this one. I think, let's just quickly just plug in a battery. Saying that, just to make sure it's not dependent on the battery. No. Nothing. So the only two readings we've got around here is this one which is, well, 13.7, it should be 15. And this one up here, which should be 15, like 14, close enough. This cap here should be, I think, five volts. Now we've got 3.5, so that is lower as well. Right, so what I think we are going to do, just to make life easier, we are going to basically clean up this whole area. I am gonna remove this cap after I clean up and just check what's going on here um, because that could be causing the issue. Right, so we'll come in with some IPA and we are just gonna clean up the area. I'm gonna get a toothbrush see what that reveals. Uh, 
I mean, this in itself might help, but we do need to replace, I think, that cap. And that one down there as well, that one absolutely looks very, very sorry for itself. Just down here by this transistor, I see this one here. Now, obviously the problem is we have got this connector here. Um, so what I'll probably do is actually just remove that connector to be honest, and even maybe the actual connector for the speaker as well, just so I can heat this area up and uh, replace all these capacitors. I think I'll replace all of these components actually, and see if that makes any difference. Uh, let's place, uh, replace the battery charging controller IC as well and see if that makes any difference because there's something not happy within this circuit. So let's do that now. Right, now with all those components replaced, let's come back in with some power, shall we? And just test the same points again. Now, do we get voltage by this coil now? Yes, look at that, five volts, perfect. Let's just check this side, which was low before. Here we go, 14 volts, close enough to 15. Same there, 14 volts. Right, so this should now be working, right? So, uh, need to obviously replace the uh, connector uh, for the Joy-Con, we'll do that now, uh, and then we'll get everything put back together again. Right, there we go, everything temporarily put back together. Let's just plug in the charger. Yep, there we go, look at that charging symbol. Right, so the battery's obviously gonna be completely dead on this, so I will leave it uh, to charge for a couple of hours. Right, so there you go, it is now a couple of hours later and the switch has had a chance to charge uh, and it is all working perfectly, so, uh, really happy with that so real quick video just to show you how to fix a nintendo switch with a no power issue so thanks very much for watching the video if you found it useful please consider subscribing to the channel we are posting videos every sunday now and also please consider giving us a thumbs up it really does help us out so as i say thanks very much for watching take care of yourselves bye bye for now